Hey besties, thank you for tuning in to a Vibe Called Blessed podcast where we turn up for Jesus and celebrate in our confidence. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Hey bestie. <laughs> so, okay, let me, we got something to talk about. <laughs> so I don't know if some of you that are listening, if you are a fan of Jonathan McReynolds and he is a gospel singer and um i first of all i am going to my first solo concert and that solo concert is Jonathan McReynolds ah! <laughs> um first of all let me just talk about that i have been a huge fan of his music for so long and just the emotions from um, some of his songs really impacted my life and funny enough last year I had told myself um I I remember kept seeing like TikToks of like people going to concerts by themselves and I, and I said you know what if I get an opportunity a chance to go to a concert by myself or I go to a concert for an artist that I like I am gonna go by myself and it just so happened um I did a bingo board it is uh the manifestation bingo um board idea that I saw on TikTok I did it and on there I put go to my first solo concert right and this was for 2023 And I remember I did that. And then I remember seeing, because I follow Jonathan McReynolds on Instagram. And I was just like, you know what, if he, um, no, this was back in 2022 before I even did the manifestation bingo. I remember saying, you know what, if he ever comes out with a, if he, you know, has a a concert, a show that's close to me, I'm going to go. So then fast forward, I did the manifestation bingo. Um, I put one of my squares on there with that. I will go to my first solo concert. And then he announced his album. And then the album dropped and I listened to the album. And then he announced he was going on tour. And then I saw that he was going on tour in my state. Yeah. OMG. I literally got so excited and I remember just like, okay, he announced when the pre-sales was going on and I literally was like, I have to go. I don't know anyone in my life that I'm close to that it is a fan. So not that they're not a fan, but like enough to where I would be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause sometimes, you know, you like to go to concert with people that will actually know of their, the person, the artist's music. And I remember I was like, you know what? I, I'm going to get over this anxiety. And I said that I wanted to go to my first solo concert. I literally said way before his album, I said, if he goes on, it was him and um, Travis Green, because I love Travis Green too. I was like, either one of them going to, I am going, I am going to the show. And I literally remember the day the pre-sale happened and I'm literally looking for my seat and I'm just like, am I really about to do this? And I was just like, you know, like in moments of time, like you will try to like almost second guess yourself, like try to talk yourself out of it. That literally what was happening. And so, you know, I was like, next thing you know, I was picking my seat and I purchased it without thinking. And I literally was just like, wait a minute. And it says successful. You got them. Something like that. And I said, wait a minute. Did I just purchase not only one of my favorite gospel artists concert ticket, but I purchased one and I'm going by myself. And I thought I would be anxious or I would be scared, but I literally, it was just pure excitement because I was like, I cannot believe I just did this. 
And I just felt so happy. And I was just like, you know what? That's the, now I know, even though the, the concert is this weekend coming up. I was literally like, now I know, I'm just excited. You know, like now I know why people opt to do certain things by themselves because, you know, it's just a different experience and I've never done this before. And I'm just like, wow, like I cannot believe that I'm doing this. And this, it's, I'm like, thank you, God. You know, one for me even to have the, the means to be able to purchase a ticket to go and to go see an artist that I love that has impacted me means a lot to me. And that brings me to the topic of this episode (laughs) on Jonathan McReynolds album. He has a song called strongest overrated. And I, I tell you what, the first time I heard the song, I replayed it and just the message behind it because I don't think people hear that enough that strong really is overrated that there really are times where you need to be vulnerable before God where you really don't have to be strong because sometimes when you're strong, sometimes you're trying to do so many things on your own. And God is saying, I want to take control. I want you to give it to me. I want you to let me do it. Because we can get in our own way. And I learned a lot over the years that strength is improving that I can do it on my own is knowing that I don't have to like, think about that. Like I could, I could sit there and try to make things happen and make things work and, and, and try to figure it out and, and become so consumed. And I'm going through a mind battles and storms because it's not working out. It's just recognizing that some battles I don't have to fight. That is, that is why we have a God that we serve that loves us enough to tell us you don't have to do it. It's okay if you need to cry at this moment to feel disappointed, to feel sad about something. It is okay Because I'm going to show you and teach you why it did not happen or why it didn't work or or I'm trying to show you how to be patient in your waiting season. So I realized I don't have to always have it figured out. I'm not always going to be strong. I'm not always going to have good days I may get myself in a bad mood but the thing is I don't have to stay there I don't have to stay in a depression I don't have to be bound in my mind I don't have to lie to myself I am willing to stand and be broken before God and say God and cry out to him and say I need help I am lost. I am confused. I messed up. I made a mistake. I am sorry. Are you willing to be naked before God? Are you willing to be very transparent and vulnerable? Nobody said be vulnerable before man. Be vulnerable before God. We got to learn that we will never be perfect. God even knew we weren't going to be perfect. You want to know why God made Adam and Eve. God made Adam and Eve and what happened, right? He gave them instructions, 
but yet and still they portrayed God. And though you know it had to hurt God that he told them not to do something and they did it anyway. He didn't sit there and wipe Adam and Eve out and, and start all over. He recognized that, yes, he created us, but we have free will and we're walking in this flesh and we will make mistakes. And even, and you, ooh, let me tell you, my God, thank you, Lord. We thank you for the conviction. Mm. We thank you for the conviction because you notice that even Adam and Eve realized that they messed up because we noticed that they were, when, when God created them, right, they were naked. But when they went against God, the conviction that they felt when they portrayed him, all of a sudden they, they realized that they were naked. They were ashamed. They wanted to, they wanted to hide from God because look at all of this that God has given us and, 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 and we went against him, but yet God mm, loved us so much that he gave us grace. He gave Adam and Eve grace. God's grace never runs out and never runs out. But I used to feel so bad to cry or to feel overwhelmed or when I was going through in my mind. And it's not to say I shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Like giving passes for people to have pity parties. It's not that at all. It is recognizing that I am human being walking this earth in the flesh, right? And I am going to have some days or I'm going to have a day, but I can't stay that way. And recognizing that There is a creator that can help me to not stay in that place. He already knows what I'm going through. He already knew what I would experience. He already set up my victory. I just had to get there. I was, the victory is already mine. No matter, no matter what the Bible says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper the weapon is going to form it's going to come up against me it's going to come up against you but guess what it will not prosper it won't so it's okay if you are in a in a place where you're heartbroken you're angry you're sad. You're frustrated. Listen, be on. I, I prompt. There's nothing that we can. There's nothing that we can hide from God. He knows us. He created us. Why can't why why can we not come before God to say, God, I'm gonna be very perfectly honest with you. I'm heartbroken. I'm angry. I'm sad. I'm frustrated. I'm lost. I have doubt. I'm unsure. I can't see the way. I need help. We can't do everything and that's okay. Even Jesus couldn't do everything. That's why he had his disciples. We are not alone. It is nothing wrong with saying, God, please send the help that I need. Please send the help. Sometimes you're looking for your help to come from familiar faces and God is going to send you someone that is so unfamiliar to be your help that he planted to be your help. We don't have to be strong all the time. 
God recognizes that there really are things that will come to try to break us down and burden us, especially the enemy. You know, the enemy is already mad. He's, he's already mad. He's already mad because he wants you off track. He wants you unfocused. He doesn't want you to prosper with God, right? So he's going to try to trick and scheme and, and lie to you and deceive you. Yeah, we already know that. that that's going to happen, right? And so God even recognized that. But let me tell you something. If, if whew, mm, We thank you for your saving Grace Jesus, we thank you for your sacrifice of dying on that cross. For Jesus to walk for 40 days and 40 nights and still come out being tempted by the enemy. The devil himself and not fall for it because he had you and me in mind. Some of us, we would have broke. We would have been like, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm wasting away being delirious, whatever you say, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it is a different type of strength. And I, the thing that I love, I love the strength of though you may be weak, yet is he strong? Though I may cry tonight, I may cry in my pillow, but it is just an assurance to know that everything is going to be all right. It's all going to work itself out. It's going to. It, the end of a thing is going to happen. The Bible tells us no word from God has ever failed us. If we know the Bible isn't a rule book, it's a love story. It's a love story about the love that God has for his people. He, There's so many stories that didn't even make the Bible. There's so many people that didn't even make it to talk about. But there's just those few things that you, you see through, through various different people. The love. Sometimes it's tough love. Right? When God is like. I've tried the gentle loving, but y'all are not getting it. Now I have to give you tough love. You've seen people that went through long suffering and then came out on the other side, reaping a harvest that went from generations. I'm listen, that's type, that's that's the type of type of reaping I want. I that that's that's the type of stuff. I, listen, if it goes through generations, my God. But strong really is overrated. I get we want to be. There is nothing wrong with wanting to be strong. And I encourage you to want to be strong. But we cannot beat ourselves up when we have a moment. If we recognize we're having a moment, we might be in a cycle. If we recognize it, if we really truly want to be free and delivered and healed, we got to come before God to say for it to be broken off of us, for the chains to be broken, for the generational curses to be broken, for the mind battles to be broken, for us to get a, a new strength, a new courage, a new fight in us. He already sees us when we're in our weak place. But I love God so much because he has the confidence to know that we have the the strength that we're going to come out of it. He believes in us that much. He loves us so much. Because otherwise. mm, My God. Let me just say this. I pray. That you understand that your walk with God is may not be easy. There are going to be some testing season periods, moments. 
where you're unsure if you'll ever come out. Hear me when I say you will. You will make it out. You will find that joy again. You will find that love again. You will have that strength again. You will be the better version of who you formerly was before you got yourself in this storm. It is only a matter of time. And what you are coming out of and what you are going to gain, the enemy can never touch, cannot take it away. No one will be able to steal that on which God will have for you. It is okay if you are vulnerable and are naked before God and are afraid. But I promise you, when you come before the Father with transparency and say, I need help, I need you, he will come through every single time. Every single time. Because God's timing is not our timing. But he is going to show up every single time. And you'll get to one day look back and you'll be living in the prayers that you prayed to God because it happened. You're going to say, I used to pray that I stopped crying and look at me. I'm not crying. You're going to pray to say, I I want, when I think about this, it don't make me sad and it's not going to make you sad. You're going to say, I prayed about not this thing, not to make me angry. And I'm not angry. I prayed to God for, for me to have forgiveness in my heart and look at me forgiving. Look at me living. Look at me finding my joy. Look at me getting my my mind back. Look at me finding my voice. Look at me walking in my identity. Look at me walking in my purpose. It is all because I prayed and I believed that God was going to do it and he did it. No word from God will ever fail. If he said it, it's going to happen. He is going to do it. I pray. I pray that you don't shut down. You don't hide. You don't give up the fight. You don't quit. You don't let the enemy win. Give it to God. Give it to God. Give it to God. I thank you so much for tuning into the podcast. And I just pray that you replay this episode when you need to. Or send this episode to someone you may know that needs to hear this. Remember, strong is overrated. But God is forever. He is unchanging, unfailing. His love will never change. And until next episode, bye bye. <laughs>